Hello again, everybody. It's Brad with Northern Brewer. I am the head research and development brewer here. I put together all the recipes. And today we want to do a bit of an informal video talking about Maybach. It is that time of the year. So here we have our Maypole Maybach and uh, also called Hellesbach. And for those of you playing along at home, that is BJCP category 4C. And we're going to go over just a little bit about it, what's good about it, and why you should brew it now. So what is a Maybach? Well, really, it's just a strong Hellas. And it's going to consist of Pilsner malt. There's a bit of uh, nice bready Munich malt in there, one bittering addition of hops, and fermented with a nice, really clean lager strain. The recipe really here is keep it simple. It's amazing what awesome flavors you can get out of with just a few ingredients. And what you can expect when you get this beer all finished off is something that is relatively strong. This comes in at just under 7% ABV. And uh, you're going to get really nice notes of really kind of slightly sweet, really nice grainy Pilsner malt. And the dash of Munich in there is going to give you a little bit of almost like not quite burnt, but like really nice toast. It's toasty. It's a little bit kind of warming. It's only bitter to about 25 IBU. So it's not going to have any uh, hop flavor or hop aroma, just mild bitterness to offset that little bit of malt sweetness because it is such a big beer. One of the keys with this one is to ferment it with a very clean lager strain. Uh, in this case, we did use the Omega OYL 111. That's the German box. Pretty incredible. This uh, beer started at a gravity of 1.065 and actually, believe it or not, got all the way down to 1.012. And so that's good for just under 7%. So uh, perfect when weather's starting to get a little bit warmer and uh, you need a nice refreshing beer, but still has that winter punch to it. And if you do want to be drinking this in May, since it is early March at the time of this recording, now is the time to brew it. Um, you can expect about eight weeks between primary fermentation, a proper lagering period, and bottle conditioning if you are going that route. So right now, early March puts you about two months into early May, and so that timing should work out pretty perfect. But if you're the type of brewer who has your, has your stuff together, you really got your lagering game strong, you could probably knock a week or two off of that and still end up with an awesomely clear, still well-aged beer. And if you're not the type of brewer who's really properly set up to do a really nice tight lager fermentation, you can always use an ale strain. Just make sure you keep it to a clean strain like American Ale, otherwise known as Chico, widely available from any of the suppliers. Just make sure you keep that uh, temperature low during fermentation, or as low as you can. That will suppress the esters. You have the cleanest possible end ending beer. Otherwise, cold strains work really well for this. Uh, but if you really want to flip this beer as quickly as possible, check out a Kvike strain. Uh, you'll be absolutely impressed at how fast that will rip through this wort and uh, get you a beer in no time at all. So hopefully that was just a little bit of an introduction to the Maybach. Uh, this is our kit, the Maypole Maybach. Now's the time to brew it if you do want to have it ready for May. And if you have any questions about anything we touched on or any more specific information about the kit, its ingredients, processes, always hit up brewmaster at northernbrewer.com. And as always, Prost. <laughs> uh, got it. <laughs>